This is an introduction to some of the features of a programming language called POP11. Sometimes built with a hyphen, sometimes without. It was a language originally developed for teaching and research in artificial intelligence. It was based on a language developed at Edinburgh University in the early 1970s and uh, was then extended by Sussex University and I'm now talking at the University of Birmingham where we have been using it for at least about 20 years for teaching and research. It has also been used by commercial organizations and was used by a company called ISL to develop a powerful data mining system called Clementine which is now part of IBM's major business software package. Anyhow, POP11 has a small subset that is very useful for beginners and has some conventional programming features and also some unusual programming features specially designed to make it easy to get going into artificial intelligence and cognitive science. And I'm going to show you some of the elementary conventional programming features and also some of the features that make it relevant to learning about artificial intelligence. Here is a little conventional piece of programming. We can take a number, 34, and add it to another number, 99, put the two in brackets, and then multiply them by 66, and ask POP11 to calculate the result by typing a thing called the print error, which is equals and greater than. And when I type escape D, it prints out the result of that calculation in the other window. So that's the time for me to say I'm now using the Poplog editor. Pop11 is part of a system called Poplog. The editor is called VED. VED can be used in different forms, but I'm showing the simplest form where you just see two windows at a time in one of which you can be typing, in another one results come out. Sometimes I will show help files or teach files, but for now mostly it will be commands in one window and output in the other. You can also give commands in the output window. Um, okay, so there's a tiny bit of arithmetic. We can also edit our previous command by asking to produce pop11 to produce the square root of the number that it previously calculated. So we say uh, square root of 34 plus 99 multiplied by 66 and again we leave the print arrow and I type escape D into the editor and that square root is printed out as 93.691. And if I want to test that that's uh, the same th thing or roughly the same thing as we got before when I multiply this by itself I can get rid of those two asterisks which are shown by printing out things using the print arrow um, make a copy of that number put the two copies in the same line put an asterisk between them sorry an asterisk not an 8 to say multiply put the print arrow at the end type escape D to do one line and it says that that number 93.691 times that number equals that number which is and it's got a point zero on the end to indicate that it's not an integer not a positive whole number but a number with a decimal value except the value is naught and it's the decimal value corresponding to that positive whole number 8778 that we had before so that's a way of testing that that really is the square root Anyway, that's just to so show you that POP11 can do arithmetic and there's a lot more it can do with numbers which I'm not going to show you today. I'm now going to move into something rather different where we show how POP11 can handle lists of lists of lists containing all sorts of things, words, numbers or whatever. Here is a list of words, a short list of words. I can use square brackets to indicate that I want to make a list and then I put whatever I want in between the square brackets and I can ask POP11 to print it out which it does in the output file I can also ask it to print out an alphabetically sorted version so I now put round brackets around the list I had a space there which doesn't do any harm POP11 ignores spaces and I say sort 
So I now have sort applied to this list, a short list of words, and that will produce a new list, and this will print out the new list. So I say do it, and what do we have? A list of short words. Why? Because these are in alphabetical order. A, L, O, S, W. And it has nothing to do with how long the words are or anything else. I can put the word elephant in the middle and say sort that. And we now get a elephant list of short words. Pop eleven takes no account of the meaning of the words in the sentence. It just does what you tell it. In this case, it asks you to sort that list of words. You can also ask it to reverse what it produced when it sorted the list of words. So I use the word rev at the beginning and I'm putting spaces just to show the structure more clearly. So I'm going to say rev has an opening bracket and then there's a space and sort has an opening bracket and then there's a space then there's the list then there's the closing bracket for sort there's the closing bracket for rev for reverse I say do it and now we get the previous list of words in reverse order now that's all very boring we're just manipulating words and ignoring the meaning we can also make lists which say something for instance I can say um, in a list the cat is on the dog. The dog is on the table. And now we have a list which contains two lists. And the first list is the list of words over here. Second list is a list of words over there. And I can ask Pop11 to print that out. But usually when printing out lists of lists, it's useful to use what we call the pretty print error with two double equal signs. And sometimes that makes it more tidy. It probably won't make any difference in this case. So we just have it printing out that list. Um, we can ask you to print the list in reverse order, as we did before. And can you guess what's going to happen? Will the words be reversed or not? Well, if we do that, we find that the two lists are printed in reverse order, namely the list that previously was second, the dog is on the table, is now the first one. And the uh, list that was, secondly f was previously first is now the second one. So it didn't sort the internal components, it just sorted the top level list.